Hey there guys, it's Jeremy, and this is a rebranding of my YouTube channel. Uh, I used to go by the level designer, but now I've rebranded to Interactive White Box. And kind of the reason for this was I felt like the level designer wasn't much of a specific channel name to really uh, differentiate myself from other level design content out there, so I kind of felt like looking up my channel uh, might be a bit hard. So I wanted to rebrand and do something very special with my channel and make it unique. So I came up with Interactive White Box, which I think is a fitting name for the channel. And I hope that it does very well. Uh, but with the rebranding comes a few changes to how I approach content. So before I was really only working on these projects when I was recording and I think that makes for great longer form content but I really felt like I was being more of a content creator than I was just designing levels. So I think my approach is going to be to work on projects kind of off camera and that will allow me the flexibility to really experiment with different things and also implement um, features that may take a while for me to implement that I don't necessarily want to do on camera, but I think it also allows me to just make a level and not have to worry about the camera and being entertaining and all that. So I think, uh, I think with this approach, it uh, will feel a bit different, but I think the content will be better in the long run and hopefully it won't allow me to burn out as much uh, because last thing I want to feel like as a content creator, I don't really want to make any money from these videos. But I do like the idea of building a community around level design and, and get other people who are looking at this as a profession to really see what this kind of work might look like. And I'm even learning as well. Uh, you know, I'm using these videos on LinkedIn to try to showcase my skills and kind of document the process of that. Um, so yeah, it's been kind of a, a while since I made my last video. As you can see, I moved into a house. Um, I'm renting, <laughs> I didn't buy my house, but hopefully uh, within the next few years I can. But that's not really important. I'm gonna get right into the content. So kind of how I'm gonna structure these videos are gonna be kind of more devlog type videos where I, I work on a project for, you know, a while and then I kind of come in and I kind of just show you some of the updates that I did and, and I might work here and there and, and, and do some of that creative work on these videos too, but I definitely am not going to, you know, stop everything once I start stop recording. I really want to, you know, make smaller videos and see how that does. And also might look into live streaming too. It depends on, you know, what what works. So with that in mind, um, we're back here in this horizon level. And, you know, I, I've worked on this uh, throughout last year. And I, you know, started to really try to focus in on kind of fin finishing the initial block out with uh, the Osaram camp here. So this is kind of uh, additions that I've started on. So, whoa, that's a very slow camera. So yeah, I, I feel like this is really pr looking pretty good. I, I really wanted to fill this area out and have kind of a small little area where it seemed like a lot of uh, Osaram would live in. And of course, you know, I will eventually come in and start to really like add a lot of detail into these like little huts and whatnot. So yeah, it's, it's coming together and an, a new tool that I wanted to implement as well uh, is the uh, Blockout plugin tools. And I can actually bring up what that looks like. So, this is a tool that I've seen a lot of different um, level designers on LinkedIn and YouTube use. And this is kind of an, 
another way of really building out different levels. Uh, so if you are interested in this specific tool, I can post a link down below and um, you know, feel free to try this plugin, but I just, uh, I, I think it's kind of cool and I might incorporate it into my initial build, but I, I also want to stick with kind of the modeling tools that, you know, I, I got used to. So I'm going to try to use a mixture of both and, and see if there's different use cases for different tools uh, when blocking out the level. And I think that's kind of interesting. And, and I might kind of showcase this, uh, this block app tool a little bit later. Uh, I was thinking of working a, a bit on this inside interior a little. So that's something that I might look into doing uh, a little bit later in the video. But I kind of wanted to show you, you know, I, I went out and then I used that block out tool to kind of do some stuff with the, the docks here. And I might use it a little bit later to, you know, really make this look a little bit more interesting than just having this, you know, straight just plank here. So that's what I am looking at doing a bit. And I, I really went through and I tried to clean up the uh, terrain uh, with this area. I really, what I, what I ended up doing was, uh, there's like landscape tools here, but there's a specific flattened brush with the landscape that if you want to have like kind of a, a cliff thing going or if you want to have things on one separate or one kind of flat layer um how you would do that is you know you can kind of select kind of a specific height and then i don't know if it's going to do this because a lot of this is kind of um A lot of this is kind of a... Yeah, a lot of this is really um, like kind of predetermined by a spline, but that's kind of what I, I'm kind of trying to see is like, you see this little dip here, so this is not really like doing it. That's uh, the, like the spline. Yeah, I don't know, that's very interesting. But if you wanted to really like, um, get this to like a flat surface or something. Yeah, you can do that. So see, I'm kind of flat flattening the uh, landscape. So the way that this landscape is kind of set up right now is that it's very, um, there's like separate kind of instances of landscape so I have like these custom spline objects as I'm sure I've, I've demonstrated in past videos and these sometimes are kind of finicky with the actual landscape brushes they don't tend to um, work sometimes I think this I think all this does so I might have to look at how to maybe turn this into edible landscape, probably. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to end up trying to figure that out. Uh, and that's kind of one of the, the goals that I can accomplish when I'm kind of working off camera. I don't wanna like look into that sort of thing right now. <clears throat> but yeah, so I, I really wanted to just kind of flatten this area out and, and make it a space where, you know, you can clearly have set paths and people can live and it's not so bumpy and, and, and lumpy all around. So that's kind of one of the things that I wanted to focus on. And 
if we go to my play cam right here, we can really uh, explore this area. And you see that, um, you know, I tried to get all of these little huts to have dirt. I want to make sure that the, that, you know, there's no grass that's flowing. I'm not entirely sure about like the dirt seeping through the tin itself, but I figured, hey, you know, <clears throat> maybe the Osaram, you know, pack dirt to kind of keep, you know, certain areas of their tent kind of glued, but that seems kind of like an excessive amount. But really that's just the landscape kind of bleeding through the tent. So I might have to kind of, you know, polish that out when I'm going in and, and making fine details. But I really wanted to have this kind of area separate from the dock. So I decided to add kind of a divider <clears throat> around here. I'm going to take a swig of water. <clears throat> so yeah, I really wanted to kind of separate these, have kind of a wall. Um, that will go into the docks here and I want to eventually put in a lot of little, you know, things um, like kind of a, an industry area here would be really nice with uh, several NPCs just walking around doing stuff. And I can always do that um, by making, you know, animations and whatnot. <coughs> so kind of with that in mind. Um, you know, I also went in here and really fine-tuned this area. This was kind of a bit lumpy and bumpy. I still kind of have some weirdness going on here, but, you know, I'm not entirely, um, I'm not entirely hating this, like this right here, this imperfection. And that could be something that I kind of, uh, just smoothed out. And I used the same, uh, blockout tool for these steps here. Uh, just to see how easier I can make stairs. I think stairs with this block out tool is a lot more simpler than using it with like the other geometry tools I was using. And here's that uh, kind of kitchen area that I was working on last time. And yeah, I just kind of worked a little bit on this area too. I, I flattened this uh, tin out. I uh, might notice in the other videos that this was kind of, you know, I think a lot higher on uh, some landscapes. So I wanted to kind of smooth that out a bit. So it's a, a little bit more, um, looks a little bit more easier on the eyes, but it, it feels good to kind of navigate through that space too. And I also kind of uh, smoothed out some of this as well. Um, this was kind of a weird cliff thing that had a lot of um just this wasn't very nice to get out of so i wanted to add just some uh some some nicer landscape uh and terrain out here so i kind of smoothed that out and then like out here i could put something that might be kind of interesting and then there is uh downtown i think it was Honolulu that I, I put in there. So that is kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, of course, I'm gonna go back and, and kind of put a little bit more detail into this area right here. Uh, but with that in mind, um, I think I might take uh, about seven to 10 minutes to just kind of block out um, block out kind of the, uh, the inside of this kitchen area here. So I'm gonna go to my Miro. <clears throat> and kind of look at what I'm working with here. So again, we have different uh, block out tools that we can use. But I think with this, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to use the uh, actual block out tools. So in my select mode, let me go back to my edit camera. There we go. So you can see here that we're in our select mode in Unreal Engine. If I go to this block out tools here, 
uh, there's all of these different shapes that I can implement. So if I like put in a block, uh, we're gonna have a block in here. And the cool thing with this tool is, you know, you have this block that you can manipulate, but if you select this bl uh, blue kind of diamond at the corner here, um, you can just kind of just manipulate this however you wish. It's actually really kind of nice to be able to, to do that. Um, so if I want a wall, I can just kind of go into here and just make something. And we just kind of build uh, walls around this area. So I know that we had this going. Uh, I'm going to probably just get rid of that. But I'm going to keep kind of these more um, specific uh, just pillars here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to kind of use just basic, a basic wall to kind of just illustrate what I need. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just rotate this around. I'm just gonna start just really blocking out the inside of this area. And I'm going to also select these and um, just kind of use these as different like pillars and whatnot. And of course, I can always go into the modeling tools and if I need to, uh, if I need to edit one of these shapes, I can always do it the old fashioned way that we were doing, which I might do. But I want to make sure that, you know, this isn't so out there. I might even, again, do that thing where you kind of love, you know, move that out. So. Yeah, it's just a matter of doing that, but I really like these blocks uh, because I really feel like there's not gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot harder to really like mess with something else. So I'm just gonna keep these walls kind of down here and I can add something to kind of cover these. But another cool aspect of this is that if I duplicate this, now I can, you know, go through and edit this and I won't edit the other one. And that's kind of something that these geometry blocks I've been working with don't do where I can't just simply copy something and just make it kind of different. So that's another kind of uh, thing I want to keep in mind when using different tools is, is there something that I can just kind of block out that, um, I don't need to go too much into like modeling if I just need like a block or something. Cause I think that's kind of what these are good for. They're really good for like general block outs. But when I want to start making something a little bit more unique, um, I think going in and just modeling them is not a, a bad thing. So it's just a matter of having the right tools. I think with this, what we can start to really do, which I might try, is just kind of duplicating these. And seeing how we can really uh, do that. Before I do that, I'm gonna lock the rotation so I can kind of get a good uh, idea of what rotation to do. So that's like, what, five, I think. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but. Yeah, it needs to go out that way. Uh, 
don't think that's too bad. So yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with um, everything and let me see, 60, 65? See if that, okay. Maybe what we can do now is we can just kind of um, duplicate this. I'm sure that works. Wait, did I? Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna do a big piece cause that I think messed up everything or I don't know. But going like 65 seemed to be pretty good for that smaller piece. Another thing that we can do is we can always kind of go in and, and edit these smaller pieces. So, you know, we can always just make this wall kind of appear. I just want to make it. And again, I, I think that this is kind of a nice way to um, just quickly block out something that I don't need to put a lot of thought into. But there's always room for improvement, for sure. Yeah, and I might move this more over here. <clears throat> so with this I might kind of move this kind of around a little bit more or I might block off the wall here What we have right now is kind of a, a peculiar instance where we don't want this wall to kind of stick out above the ceiling, but <clears throat> what we can do is we can select another block out tool right here. And they do have a ramp that we can uh, implement in here. So this is just kind of a, a small ramp that we can use. And we just kind of line this up with this right here. I think that is what we want. We can fill this space up with this uh, particular ramp here. So that way we don't um, have a weird thing going. But we can just kind of fill up the space. Make sure it doesn't go through. Kind of line it up. Uh, it looks like it may be a bit weird on the rotation. So I'm just kind of line that up a lot better. Yeah, I mean, it's not 
super perfect, but it's a little bit more easier to edit like that specific piece, which is always kind of nice. But yeah, we really blocked out this uh, wall. So we have that going. Um, what I might do is I might I might do is I might move this <coughs> to kind of the, the center here. <coughs> so we have this um, kind of area here where we can go in through. Um, I want to open up Some of this though. So I might delete that. I might delete that. Actually, no. I'll delete that. Oh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just duplicate some of these. And just spin them around and I'm just gonna drag them over. <coughs> to here. Of course this might not really fit well with what we already have. So what we could do to fix that fine-tune these walls um, and if I need to kind of like add something to these to make it work a little bit more better I can do that but for now I'm just gonna see what I can do to kind of just get these going so this I might just rotate a bit more in that way And same for this, I might just kind of go into here, rotate it a bit, just bring it out, come back here and just rotate. And this is a really easier way to just kind of initially block something out. And another thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate these. Actually, I'm gonna get yeah, this like that. So I went ahead and duplicated this. I just wanna use the same wall for over here. Cause I wanna kinda of cut this access off. So you do have to kinda of go into the, the, the thing and you know, Go, go through the kitchen area if you were to need something. But again, like with the, a cool thing with this tool is, um, you know, you can kind of fine tune different pieces of it. You just need something very simple to block out. So, you know, this is kind of, 
I don't know. It's not fitting perfectly. So, with that in mind, we can just go in and make it fit perfectly. And again, this is kind of over here, so we just move that back. Just move that up against the wall there. And there we go. We have uh, kind of a, a, a wall going. But yeah, um, if we go back to our play camera, um, what we could do is, um, let me save it, because I just want to make sure that I save everything on the project. But what we have is we have, you know, this nice little kitchen area now that has, you know, kind of areas that you can't go through. And we can really use this tool with um, kind of the combination of the different modeling tools to make something a little bit more specific uh, and like uh, just a... A repeatable asset I think would be great for um, kind of more modeling tools and, and such but um, yeah it, it looks like it's getting somewhere and again we're, we're I'm gonna really expand on this area and, and really make it a lot nicer um, and another cool thing before I stop the video is with this tool you can see that you have these options here, so you can really fine tune like the way that stuff looks here. So, you know, if you want to go in and change, you know, the box size of something just through the um, inspector right here, you could do that. Um, but another thing that you could do is you could change the material. Uh, so you could like choose a different color for it, which is what a lot of people do, uh, which is really nice if you want to have kind of a specific area or a specific block to represent something different uh, you can always change the you know the color of that which is really awesome uh, so that that's really that's really nice um, but not only that but you can just change out the uh, material in general so I don't know what materials I have in here but I don't know but right here you can uh, select a different um, custom material if you want to so that's always nice so yeah let me uh, just make something super simple red so we just create a red I think I want a vector 3 I think that's what I want is a vector 3 Three. I have to look this up real fast. Yeah, and this is kind of the reason why I want to do stuff <laughs> outside of the videos. Um, you can hold three and click, a color node will come up. Oh, cool. So that's a neat little um, shortcut. So if you're making a material like this and you just want to have like a, a solid color, uh, if you just hold down your three key and click, um, it will come up with this uh, vector image. But if we want to have red, we can do that. You're not so bright. We can save that. So if we have red, let me see if this is gonna work, because it should. I can actually let me see if I can Dock this in the layout real fast. Let's see if I can. No. <laughs> oh, 
So if you want to have a, a, a block out grid material, you can select that. But if you want a custom material, you can select custom material and then just drag in your material and there you go. So that's a very nice way of, um, of yeah, doing that. And I'm sure you could probably also match the material to um, the rest of the uh, block outs uh, materials that you have. So if you wanted to have, you know, something kind of with what the uh, rest of the blocks have, you could do that as well. But I think that's kind of a neat way of, you know, using these block out tools in different ways and to also illustrate, you know, if there's a different area, or if there's, you know, a, a, you just have like a block and you're like, hey, that's a lamp or that's a TV. Um, you can like color, you know, props a, a separate color and stuff. So I think that's kind of a, a neat way to use this. But yeah, um, I... I think I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And if you like the content and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next video. Oh, and before I leave, uh, I'm going to put this in the chat as well because I did do a game jam last week. And I just want to put out kind of what I worked on for that. So. I'll put a, a link to this in the, the description, but I have this game called, uh, trust me, this game is not about exploding chickens. And I just kind of made a, a Bomberman multiplayer game and I put in some additional features that change the level around and stuff. So I just wanted to kind of include this as kind of a, an extra thing if you want to go out and, and download the game. It's completely free. I just made this during a week for Global Game Jam. Um, but I'm really proud of it and a lot of people had fun with it. So yeah, if you want to download this and check it out and um, yeah, feel free to like capture a, a gameplay of it and, and send it to me or upload it to YouTube. Um, but I just wanted to put my games out there, uh, if you like the content that I do, um, then yeah, this is kind of a game that you can play that I made. So, again, um, I want to thank everybody for, um, you know, following me and, and watching my content, but I hope that you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.